Day two of the German Darts Masters finals night as the PDC's World Series stop in Cologne comes to a thrilling conclusion. Hoping to purr like a kitten, James Wade revved up his machine, but would fans like this make everything all right for Snakebite? We got headbutts and growls from the gentle, but we also got some brilliance from the giant. Would they be going Gaga for Gabrielle in Germany? Whistle while you work today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the World Series of Darts as the best players in Germany take on the best players in the PDC. We'd have German representation, the host nation with three players to cheer for today, Nico Kurtz, Gabrielle Clemens, and Martin Schindler, all winning on day one. The wall, the big story. He came back from 3-0 and 5-1 down on Michael Van Gerwen to absolutely stun the world number one and himself, he couldn't believe it, was brought to tears so emotional. It had everyone wondering about MVG. 11 consecutive matches without a 100 average tweeted darts behind the Aki, asking the all-important question, what is up with the green machine? Of course, we couldn't resist. Blocked us on Twitter, our reply. Seems obvious at this point, doesn't it? Just a joke, folks. But yes, he did block us on Twitter. The wall will be taking on defending champ Menser Sulovich this evening as we look at the lineup jam-packed the quarterfinals best of 15 remember you know the German faithful will have their whistling boots on can't stand the German crowd said Connor Kane they're getting worse. All right, here we go. First man introduced today, the 22-year-old darting whiz kid wonder bar, Nico Kurtz, who put the hurts on Gary Anderson yesterday in that big upset. He was taking it all into his first ever PDC quarterfinal, playing Peter Wright, who hit the stage running. Hello world, he sang. I'm playing center stage in Cologne. This fan was happy about it too. Wright had just taken taking out 143 to level things at one. But how about the young man? Double five good for the third leg and a 2-1 advantage. We check out another snake bite fan in the back of the house and we see that the Mohawk man took the next two. He pinned this double 15 next for three on the spin and a 4-2 lead at the interval full control. Kurtz did put a couple more on the board after the break. 13th leg trailing 7-4. He took out 87 to keep the comeback alive. Very nice shot. Then, wow, he nailed double 12 for 7-6. A young gun fighting for his life. But no, Wright says not today, Nico. Avenging the upset defeat yesterday of his World Cup partner, Gary Anderson. 8-6 your final. Snake by averaging 97.29 with two 180s. I was cruising and in control, he said. Then it just went all wrong. I had a decent last leg there. Daryl Gurney having fun with some fans and officials on his entrance, and then he bellowed out the Super Chin Sing Song as you see James Wade, his opponent, trying to stay focused. And wow, he was focused, but the Northern Irishman was anything but. Wadey up a double break at 3-0. It got to 4-0. Super Chin with just three scores of a ton through four legs. The machine carried about his business. This double five made it five zip. Gurney just one dart a double and he missed it. Down three breaks of throw now. It was 6 nothing at the interval. Hannah was loving it, especially the line by commentator Dan Dawson. Gurney turned up to a knife fight but brought a spoon. I can't deal, she says. Four tears of joy emojis right there. Luke Jones was in a joking mood as well. Well, my prediction of 8-6 Gurney is still on, he tweeted. Not today, my friend. This is how Wade finished the job. Beautifully, the 148 to end the pain. Gurney averaging slightly better than 70, and you can make the final ready for it. Wow, 8 nothing. the whitewash. It was quite strange, Wade said. I've been on that side of the coin many times. Forget bad day at the office. At M. Austin 71 says plain and simple, 
It was a bad day at the Yaki for Gurney. Defending champ Menser Sulovic greeting the German faithful with a smile as always, lively walk on, then a hug and good luck wishes for his opponent Martin Schindler. Call him the MVG Slayer. Can the wall do it again and lay the foundation for a run to the final? Well, great start. An opening leg break on double four. Calm and cool. The crowd, anything but. Love the darts, we say. And each other. That is a great motto to live by. The celebration short-lived, however, as the gentle roared back with three on the spin. Double two for three one. And the growl. Thumbs up, gents, on the flashing 180 hats. I like them. We got this reaction as the Austrian made it 5-1 at the commercials. He was talking to himself all fired up. This double 16 would seal the victory. No contest. 8 to your final. Very impressive. He gave it some, too. Why, you ask? Well, it's the first time he's ever beaten Schindler was 0-3 coming in. He ended that and is now off to the semifinals. Well done, sir. Rob Cross versus Gabriel Clemens in our last quarter. The pair exchanging holds of throw through the entire first mini session. Gaga here tying it at two. The fans here after he tied it at three on a spectacular 131 checkout. All square at the interval. Seven leg. First blood to Clemens. Thanks in large part to Voltage misses. Two darts here at double two and that was all the German needed to secure the break. The fans feeling it on their feet. They sense an upset. He held for 5-3 next then broke again for 6-3. Check out the averages. 102 playing 102. Brilliant. Then after more cross misses, Clemens was clutch again. An 89 check out this time for 7-3. Voltage is tough though, responded nicely. A beautiful 124 checkout, three perfect darts, no give up. The deficit just too much to overcome though, as Gaga crosses the line. 8 5 your final, cross averaging a whopping 106 in defeat. Incredible. As the players shook hands, the German giant felt the need to apologize for the fans who were whistling throughout. Gabrielle Clemens apologizes to Rob Cross for the crowd's behavior. The tweet from Tom Beresford, but it was a fantastic display from both as Clemens continues to show us why he has got the game to be one of the most dangerous players on the PDC Tour. So there's the bracket, and then there were four. Peter Wright v. James Wade, Menser Sulovich v. Gabrielle Clemens. This our first pairing, the machine and snake bite. We know who this woman was cheering for. The first mini session, nothing to write home about, but it was advantage right. This double 10 for 4 2 and the quizzical look, as if to say, How am I ahead? Well, he wasn't ahead for long. Wade with the stellar 121 out of the break, two break, bullseye good. Tops was next for four apiece. All tied up. Right would hold. Then land the big blow. The 96 checkout on double nine after Wade had missed his chances. A pivotal break. And that was the difference. 6-4 at that point. You can make the final 8-4 as he reels off four in a row to book his spot in the final. Would it be simply the best for Menser Sulovic in our second semi or simply the whistles? You know the crowd was fully behind this guy. The gentle versus the giant. Could Gabrielle Clemens make it a dream weekend? We shall see. This one was tight. On throw through the first six legs. Menser here tying things at three on double ten. We got a motion. Head butts growls the works out of the commercials. Clemens held and then landed a huge body blow. Down first, he'd eventually pin double five to break. Closing in on the final now. How about this? Clutch on the 61. A last start, double nine. Come on, he says. The house was rocking. Everybody going gaga for Gabrielle. He ran the table. Ready for this? With five on the spin. Can you believe it? 
we have a Clemens Wright finale. So, big moments for one of these players. The German good start raced out to a 3-1 lead, but Snakebite clawed it back. Double 10 here for 3-all. Even Steven at the break got away with one. Clemens could have been up 4-2, but he squandered chances. Wright then turned to the crowd and said, Hey, why are you getting on me? Why the booze? Why the whistles? From there, it got to 4-4. Both players averaging 92. Two, the fans in a frenzy, but Clemens was wasting opportunities, and it finally caught up with him. Big reaction from the Scotsman as he hit the front for the very first time. Double 10, good for a crucial ninth leg break, which he consolidated for daylight. Clemens has game, but the advantage would not be relinquished. Wright held the pose after making it 7-5, and great Scott, he got there. Spread his arms wide as he silenced the partisan host nation faithful very effectively, I might add, to claim his third World Series of Darts title and his second at the German Darts Masters. Flexed his muscles too, hugs and handshakes for his opponent, then a compliment as well. Hats off to Gabriel, he said. Played well. He asked next, German darts, how far is it coming? He answered his own question by saying, it's brilliant. Peter Wright was the brilliant one all weekend. A snake bite success in Cologne. Three words, baby. The right stuff today on High Roller Radio.